Here at Landing, our mission is to empower creative expression and bring a global community together. Last March, we launched our mobile experience using React Native to build a social app where users can make and share digital collages. With this technology, we've empowered over 600,000 users on both iOS and Android to share their unique creations with the world. We are so excited to partner with React Native Skia moving forward to bring additional functionality to our app, including text and paragraph support, improved graphics rendering on both Android and iOS, as well as custom painting, shaders, and filters to empower creativity for our users. Hello, React Native developers. I hope you are well. William here recording from beautiful Zoic, Switzerland. Thank you, Landing, for trusting React Native Skia while working on this project. We have seen incredible examples of indie developers, flourishing startups, and large tech companies using it to power incredible experiences in React Native. Shopify, of course, uses it to power rich analytics to millions of entrepreneurs. VoidPet, which won the Google Play Store App Award last year, uses React Native Skia to bring us these rich and delightful creatures. Tarlink also uses React Native Skia to power analytics and other delightful effects. Tajon brings sport fans around the world the best of the Six Nations tournament. Orca, the leader in sea navigation, uses React Native Skia to bring rich navigation data to its users. Stoked, the leading app for indoor climbing, uses Skia to guide climbers with their problems. And the Zenith Academy Plus app uses React Native Skia to provide incredibly engaging studying experience. And Flipcards, the photo matching game, is just incredibly playful. We are absolutely blown away to see everything you have built using React Native Skia. So this morning, we would like to take the next step in our relationship with the industry. And to get things started, here are the people who are championing React Native Skia. From Shopify, Colin Gray, principal developer of mobile, and Mustafa Ali, director of engineering. Good morning, and welcome to this special announcement. We are celebrating a significant milestone in the world of React Native development, the release of React Native Skia 1.0. Two years ago, Shopify saw the huge potential of a small open source project from Christian Felch and William Candion, and we've been thrilled to see how it has grown to become a mainstay in the React Native ecosystem. Within Shopify, we've watched it evolve from an interesting proof of concept to powering our most visually stunning views. There's simply no better way to render custom graphics and interactive animations. As we'll see from today's demos, we have the privilege of having five members of the React Native Skia community walk us through five features that are part of this release. Thank you to all the people who have contributed bug fixes and reported issues. You have helped make this a community-driven project, and we couldn't have gotten to 1.0 without your support. We're excited, and we hope you are as well. Now, back to you, William. So React Native Skia version 1.0 and five members of the React Native Skia community are going to walk you through five of the new features. Now, before we get started, when we make an announcement such as this one, we like to end with a call for action, an invitation to play with and build upon the, the work we just presented. And there is a software engineer that has been answering us in ways that has absolutely captured our imagination. And this morning, we were eager to share his story with you. React React Native로 애니메이션을 만들 때 매번 다양한 도전들이 있는데요. 예를 들어 안드로이드 기기에서 프레임 드랍 이슈가 발생할 때도 있고 안 들고 싶은 모션이 React Native에서는 레퍼런스가 없을 때가 많아서 React Native에서 잘 작동하는 버전으로 직접 개발해야 할 때가 많습니다. 그래서 매번 문제 해결을 위해 다양한 방법을 고민하고 또 성능을 테스트하고 
수많은 시도 끝에 완성된 애니메이션을 제품에 반영해 오고 있습니다. 현재 트위터와 유튜브를 통해 이 애니메이트가 스키아로 활용한 저의 작업물과 경험을 공개하고 있습니다. 네트워킹이나 협업 문의는 언제든 환영하고요. 리액트 네이티브 스키아와 함께 즐거운 개발하시기 바랍니다. 감사합니다. Thank you, d a e o n for inspiring us with your work. Now, let's talk about text layouts. From day one, React Native Skia was able to display text, but it was not possible to break lines automatically, nor was it possible to apply layouts, nor was it possible to mix and match system fonts with custom app fonts. And that's exactly what the new Paragraph API does. And to show you this new feature used in the wild, Terry Shahedak from Margelo. At Margelo, we help our clients build great user experiences in React Native. Recently, we've used Paragraph API to build a modern chat UI, where our users can both send regular messages or drag and drop them anywhere on the screen, move around, change font, color, or even use complex text presets, keeping the interaction better with smooth and text razor sharp. The Paragraph API deals with the layout, and word breaking for us. These are things that were previously hard to do in React Native, but not anymore. We are collaborating with the Skia team on building such experiences, discussing the best practices and performance. Thank you, Terry. This looks so cool. And that's the new Paragraph API. You can use it to mix and match system fonts, such as emojis, with custom fonts for consistent rendering across platforms and to build rich text layouts. But React Native developers, wait a second. What unites us is our love for React's declarative model. There is something so incredibly joyful about the GSX syntax and React's composition model. And we benefit from a strong type system, a type system which, by the way, has become leaps and bounds ahead of programming languages which were typed from the ground up. But I digress. So when we are looking at these examples, what we really want to be looking at are these beautifully deeply nested text nodes and components in the GSX syntax. And that's the declarative paragraph API, available as a technical preview today and to be released as table later this year. The paragraph API is one of the most advanced SCIA feature. And what we do is expose it in React Native. And now the question is, how good can we make this integration? And it's a two-fold answer. The first fold is about finding a sensible declarative model for these APIs in React. And now let's talk about the second fold, which is performance. And we start with animations. Last year, thanks to the help of Software Mansion, we announced the reanimated integration with Skia. We aimed at enabling developers to animate on the UI thread using the animation library they know and love. And we also wanted to take advantage of the best the React Native reanimated ecosystem has to offer. For instance, here we use Gesture Handler on the Skia Canva. Now let's follow the thread of integrating with reanimated. And let's have a look at three kinds of animations. Interactive animations, like diving into analytics using gestures, for instance. Large animations, where we have a simple animation driver, here a gesture, and we use it to interpolate the state of thousands of elements and fully scripted animations. There are no surprises there. The whole world is known in advance. Let's talk about interactive animations. In a ski scene, there are usually tons of ski objects being exposed through GSI, and to animate them efficiently, there are a couple of principles we need to follow. First, of course, they need to be mutated on the UI thread, and then we need to make sure we are not creating any new objects at animation time. We want to avoid these allocations for two reasons. First, they are somewhat slow. They are not slow per se, but relative to everything else we are doing at animation time and considering the amounts of objects we are dealing with, it's relatively slow. And the lifetime of these objects is a single animation frame. This means that we either need to explicitly delete them or making sure that they are being efficiently garbage collected, and we don't want to do that. What we want to do is forget everything I just said and provide you with animation hooks which are the easiest ways to build animations in React Native Skia. And behind the scenes, we are going to take care of building these animations as efficiently as possible. I'd like to show you two examples. This is the use path interpolation hook 
that allows you to nicely interpolate across paths. We think it's a very easy way to interpolate. And again, behind the scenes, we're going to make sure it's the fastest way as well. Here, our paths have been nicely prepared, but to interpolate across any path, here it is, same story, but Flubber prepared the paths for us using vertices. We have the use path hook, which is similar, but we can use it for any path mutations. Here, we add a little bit of noise to our little void pets, for instance. Now, I know someone who has a vested interest in these new animation hooks, and that's Carlos Pereira from Shopify. The Shopify app empowers merchants to manage the Shopify store from the mobile device. One of the most used features in the app is the analytics dashboard that allows merchants to keep a pulse on their business while on the go. Leveraging the capabilities of Victor Native Excel, a library built atop React Native Skia, reanimated in React Native Gesture Handler, we successfully built new interactive charting components that perfectly suit our needs. The best part, performance was never a concern, even on lowering devices. We had a lot of fun and we are excited to build more. Thank you, Carlos. With Reanimated and Skia, you can also create textures. Textures are drawings and images that live on the GPU and that can be shared across canvases. Now, to create these textures, there are a lot of nitty-gritty you need to attend to, but we want to provide you with animation hooks that do all of this work automatically for you. There is use image as texture that will allow you to load large images directly in the GPU. And you can also use texture for creating textures from Skia drawings. And you can even use the imperative API if needed. Here we have a path and we can draw circles along this path. Skia nicely provides us with all the path information we need. And if we draw enough circles and we interpolate the color of the circles nicely, it looks like a nice gradient along the path. And we can even play with the circle radius to give a nice variable stroke effect. But that's a lot of circles. So what we want to do is to create a texture where we can only draw a few circles on every frame, and this will animate extremely fast. Textures are enabling a new API I am pretty excited about, the Atlas API. You can use it to draw large scenes. You set up your texture, define your drawing elements and transformations, and you can even do Z indexing by sorting your elements. And to walk you through this new API, Enzo Mangano from Worklet. I'm Enzo, a React Native software engineer, but you may probably already know me thanks to my YouTube channel called Reactive. On my channel, I really love the process of creating from scratch and sharing React Native tutorials made with the help of reanimated ASCIA. Almost a year ago, I stumbled upon a crazy UI demo made by Philip Davis on Twitter about a beautiful 3D sphere animation. When I saw it, I knew that I had to recreate the same animation, but this time with React Native. The build of the animation is that it looks much more difficult than it actually is. After placing the squares on the Skia Canva, the trick was just finding out the reference point to the scaling, and just like magic, out of nowhere, a 3D sphere appears. One year ago, I was pretty happy with the final result, but when I tried the new Alpha CPI and together with William, we tried to recreate the same animation, I was totally blown away about the performance improvement of Skian. Actually, the process of readapting the animation first to reanimated and then to the new Alpha CPI really helped me appreciate even more all the improvements that have been in React Native Skia over the past year. And I can't wait to explore what this package holds for us in the future. Thank you, Enzo. This looks really cool. So we've looked at interactive animations, large animations. Now let's talk about scripted animations. And we can do it in three simple steps. First step, you can actually use the Atlas API to animate sprites. Here we have our little void pet, and we can actually use the Atlas API to make him breathe fire. We have the sprite, and from there, animating it is trivial. Step two is our new support for animated images, GIFs or WebP. Again, here we provide you with the right animation hooks to do so. And for the last step, the final boss of scripted animations, Anno Godek from Margello. Hey everyone, my name is Hanno and I am a software engineer at Margello. I'm excited to introduce you to React Native Scotty, a library we've built on top of React Native Skia. This library is specifically designed for rendering Lottie animations with optimal performance. Lottie React Native is the go-to library for creating visually appealing animations in our apps. 
However, during performance reviews of React Native apps, we've noticed a consistent issue related to Lottie React Native. Using React Native Skia as a foundation, we, with William's help, developed React Native Scotty to boost animation performance. Let's have a look at how you can improve the performance of your app today. It is as simple as replacing your existing Lottie component for the Scotty component. Afterwards, profile the performance of your app. In our example, the performance on this screen improved significantly. Not only that, but Scotty can provide better app startup time, as well as providing shorter times for mounting a screen containing a Lottie animation. Right now, React Native Scotty is provided as a standalone view. In the future, we will be able to use our Lottie animations in any Skia canvas to create even more interesting animations. Thank you, Hanno, for building this great package. And thank you, Margello, for all the great work you do for the community. Speaking of performance, we looked at examples on iOS and Android, but there is a third platform we support, the web. What does performance mean for us on the web? Our bet is that it means shipping the whole React Native Skia experience on a 20 kilobyte polyfill. We call it Canva KGS. We introduced it last October as a private beta, and we wanted to get a sense of what kind of applications people would build with it. Hey, I bet you're pretty curious as well. So thankfully, Kim Schuar has us covered. Hi, web and mobile developer, this is Kim, recording from beautiful Bordeaux, France. I'm really excited today to show you how to push the boundaries of React Native Skia from mobile to the web. At RDC Music, we're working hard to revolutionize the way people learn and play wind instruments. That means building instruments that people can play anywhere, like the travel sax, but also hyper-performant universal apps and game. Why hyper-performant, you might ask? Well, in music, it's all about time, right? So in our game, if our animation has even just a few milliseconds delay, everything is out of tempo. So it's a big no-no. Luckily, React Native Skia is here to help. But hey, a demo is worth a thousand words, right? So let me walk you through Melo Skia, an open source game demo built with React Native Skia. It runs great on iOS and Android, 60 frames per second on the UI thread. But now, let's bring this puppy to the web. Historically, a web assembly file was required to load React Native Skia on the web, but the 2.9 megabyte file size might be a showstopper in some web scenario. That's when Canvas KitGS comes in, loading already existing code from Skia directly from your browser. Now, by adding those two lines of code, you can load the Canvas KitGS file, tiny, tiny two kilobytes, and your app runs everywhere while keeping the web devs happy. So. Check it out for yourself, clone the demo on GitHub, and experience what it feels like using the final tech stack. Thank you, Kim. This is really, really cool. And now that I'm seeing this, I am pretty convinced that CanvaKit GS can help a range of React Native Ski applications to ship on the web with a small bundle size. So today, we are making CanvaKit GS open source, still a very experimental project, but we think it has strong legs. And the way it is built is very interesting. There are two layers. The first one, we call it Canva 2D Next. We asked the question, how would the Canva 2D API would look like if it could power React Native Skia experiences out of the box? It would contain support for image filters and layers, as well as providing support for basic path operations. And this is effectively what we have built with this layer. Once we have our Canva 2D on steroid up and running, all we have to do is provide a compatibility layer. If we do our job well, a Skia client should almost be unable to distinguish between Canva Kit Wasm and Canva Kit GS. We wanted to put this ID to the test and run CanvaKit.js on the Flutter web app, which has absolutely no prior knowledge of CanvaKit.js. Not pixel perfect, but pretty close. So we think that it can help Skia clients outside React Native to deliver rich web experiences with a small bundle size. 
And we also think that this is a great API for vanilla web development. So putting any Skia clients aside in order to break the silos between graphic APIs and have really performant web experiences. We had a look at the Atlas API, which was able to do large scenes in a single call. This API is one or two order of magnitude faster on web than its Canva 2D counterpart. We will soon be able to provide support for such API part of Canva KitJS as well. And this is exciting because if you look at some of our examples, they go beyond just supporting React Native or other Skia clients on web, but rather trying to offer a better web experience with a small bundle size period. And these were the five things I wanted to show you this morning. Rich text layouts using the new Paragraph API, animation hooks, which are the easiest and fastest way to build animations in Skia, the Atlas API to build and animate large scenes and not skip a bit even on low-end Android devices, efficient Luti animations using the new React Native Scotty package, and Canva KGS, a small but promising library to deliver rich web experiences with React Native Skia under a very small bundle size. Now, this release is the result of an incredible collaboration across many different industry players. From independent developers to flourishing startups and large tech companies, these community-driven efforts are part of our DNA as React Native developers. And if you ask me, this is probably why React Native is so technically elegant and why its journey as a developer so joyful. Now, this release has already created incredibly positive momentum and we have some really fun stuff in the pipeline. So yeah, I am looking forward to talk to you soon and until next time, happy hacking.